talking about the birth records that the parents filled out at the hospital, they're uh, basically dealing with what they use a phrase uh, at time of birth. So they're asking what was the legal surname at time of birth of the child, usually relating to the parents, uh, because it's uh, uh, the English system follows uh, the father's line of last name. Um, they're referring to that as uh, what they're talking about when they're saying at time of birth, when they're referring to legal surname being placed overhead on the child's record. So anyways, um, what they're really doing is you're, because they trespassed on your privacy as a child and they got your given name on there that doesn't belong in the world of fiction, um, they're, they're taking it down the factitious way instead of it being a fact, now they're using it as factitious in a manner in their system. But it is, a, it is private and it doesn't belong to the public and it shouldn't have been on there. But what they're doing is they're using, um, a, they're creating an event that they said that both things kind of coincided at the same time. That at the time of birth, yes, there was this given name that shows up and the government's legal surname at the same time. So we'll call that coincide, but when you really look at that, because the whole system that is being operated uh, is operating on the basis of legal or money or civil, which is a money system. So we're dealing with coincide. It seems that they both names coincided at the same time, but it's actually coincide. And uh, when you look up, of course, what is, co you know, coincide, uh, you'll get a better feel on this, but we're just going to take you uh, down the direction of coin, because we always want to deal with the root of these words. Uniquely, um, I'm going to, when I'm reading this, I'm going to have to stick another word in, because we don't know what the AI is going to do if I say the other word, because anything around certain words now seems to knock the video out, so uh, I'm going to be... Uh, Wise as a serpent, peaceful as a dove. So in it, at the beginning it says, you have to look this up in the dictionary, I'll just spell it out. Um, it has, the root for coin is a wedge, stamp, corner. Um, it has nat, and then it has N-E-E-D-L-E, -E -E, um, which is up here. So isn't it interesting that their system seems to revolve around nailing you? So... This could not be coincidental, okay? This does coincide because money does kill. There wouldn't be any killing out there if there wasn't for money or the mammon. So the people who want to remain in the legal science fiction world of humans um, are basically uh, the mammonites. I probably should create a, a cartoon series to teach this, and we'll call it the mammonites. Uh, but... This is how it operates, so without understanding these words, you're going to miss the message of what's going on. But uh, money does kill um, love, which is the opposite, okay? Because love doesn't, doesn't require money, reality doesn't require money, truth doesn't require money. Non-reality, fiction, legal requires money, um, and it has become an occult thing, um, as a medium of exchange. So hopefully this um, this little short series here uh, that we've done uh, today are, are going to educate you further on the words because the words have a very, very serious impact on your life. If you don't know the words, you may be caught under a bad spell.